Hi, in this video we're going to show you how to revert back to the classic or legacy uh, Windows 11 start menu. So if you've had the 25H2 Windows 11 update, your start menu might look like this now with your pinned items on top here, recommended section, and then these categories here, which you can't change at least right now. So you can't really do anything about them. You could go into them and you can unpin them, but you can't rename them or really do anything else like drag them around. And reorganize them. And of course, you can change the view to a grid based in alphabetical order or a list since we don't have the all button up here any longer. All right, so if you want to go back to the older style of Windows 11 start menu, we're going to show you how to do this. I do have to say though that this might get reverted back if there's another major Windows update, so you might have to do this again. Or you may run into a situation where Microsoft does something to prevent this from uh, being reverted back to the classic Windows 11 start menu. All right, so to do this, we're going to be using the Vive tool. So it's a free tool. And what it does, it allows you to enable or disable certain Windows features. So many times it's used to enable these features before they're even rolled out to your computer. All right, so once you download the Vive tool and extract it, you just need to put it in a folder that you'll be able to get to. So I have mine here right on the C drive in a folder called Vive. So you'll notice there's a vivetool.exe. So you can't just double click it and run it. You have to run it from a command line. All right, so we're going to do a CMD. Click on Run as Administrator. Say yes to the UAC prompt. So you'll need to be an administrator to do this. So now we need to navigate to the folder where the Vive tool files are located. So we'll do a CD for Change Directory. C colon backslash Vive in my case. Yours may be different. All right, so if we do a DIR for a directory, we can see we have the files there. All right, so now to disable the newer Windows Start menu and re-enable the older one, well, we're going to run this command here. All right, so we're going to just copy and paste this. I'll have this in the description. Press Enter. So you should get this message saying successfully set feature configuration. All right, so now we need to restart the computer. So we'll do that, and we'll be right back. All right, go ahead and log in. All right, let's click on Start and see what we got. All right, so as you can see, we have the older style uh, Windows 11 Start menu back in place there. All right, so it's pretty easy to do, and then if you change your mind, you could come back and run this command to re-enable it. So when it comes to the Vive tools, one thing I noticed is uh, sometimes when you try and enable something and then disable it, or disable something and enable it, um, it doesn't seem to work. So if you come across a situation where you go back to the classic menu and you can't re-enable it, it might be a situation you'll run into. And like I said before, you might find that a major Windows update reverts it back to the newer style and you have to run this again or you might find it where uh, this Vive tool does nothing if Microsoft found a way to block it so depending on when you try this your results may vary all right so I'll put a link in the description for the Vive tool so you can download it so you'll have the files and then I'll put this in the description as well so you can just copy and paste it all right thanks for watching and be sure to subscribe